What's going on, guys? My name's Corey Kamori, and welcome to Lyric Breakdowns here on the Breakdown Channel. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing the Gorillaz song Strobe Light off of their album Humans. So off of their 2017 album Humans, Strobe Light is an interesting song in that it sonically mixes pop sensibilities that are present in current pop music as well as trends from the 70s and 80s as far as incorporating dance, disco, and a little bit of R&B from those earlier time periods. However, we're not going to be talking about the musical sensibilities of the song. Instead, today we are going to be talking about the lyrical content in the song. And right out the gate, we hear the lyrics, momentary pain can be pleasure lane, millisecond change, magic lantern strange, are we just too far to be as one again? Are we obsidian? Is this how it is? Girl, your life will turn just like a strobe cause your daddy's pain and your mother won't. And your heart enrages into heartless throes. Are we obsidian? Is this how it goes? So on the surface level, this song seems to be about the relationship between two people and how these two people are unable to come together again because they're too thick-headed or they just don't want to see eye to eye with certain things. And if you look at it from that standpoint, the song is pretty simplistic, pretty on the nose, and uh, just not very interesting. However, there are a few other meanings that can be dissected from this song. For instance, the mentioning of strobe lights throughout the song hints that things can change on a dime. Things can flip back and forth uh, from being peaceful and harmonious to just being flat out confrontational and aggressive. And while this is definitely something that can be present in a relationship between two people, the way that I'm interpreting this is the relationship between groups of people with other groups of people. I'm looking at this from a larger point of view, one that talks about a populace of people, one that talks about sections of a country, if you will, that do not want to see eye to eye and are thick-headed and so stuck within their belief systems to the point where they're unwilling to talk with each other and they're unwilling to compromise with anything. And for me, I don't feel like this perspective is off base when trying to analyze the song because there's a lot of division and tension that is going on all around the world, especially in our country in particular. And what gives me that vibe in this song are the words, are we just too far to be one again? You know, are we obsidian? And is this how it ends? And what's interesting is this idea is taken a step further when you get into the chorus. If when your private life is dreaming, you're living the strobe light and you will find the life you're needing, you're living the strobe light. It seems that what the song is actually tackling is this idea that there is a populace that is at each other's throats, becomes divided, and in the process, larger entities take advantage of that division and in place things that are under the radar of these people and potentially relinquish rights that they may have had at a point in time. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, well, that sounds like a crazy conspiracy theorist type of explanation of these lyrics. And where I'm coming from with that explanation stems from the fact that this album as a whole is somewhat of a pseudo-concept album that deals with not only factions of society being governed by larger entities, but um, also breaking it down to the level of artists being controlled by larger entities. Now, some people would be like, oh, secret societies and shit like that. Whereas I'm looking at it more from the perspective of, you know, big, big money entities that have a lot of influence in the way that things are controlled and shaped uh, in a country like ours. 
So if you go into it with that mindset, knowing that that is basically what the whole album is about, it's about the different perspectives of these different types of uh, people, groups that are controlled and brought into the inner circle of these all-powerful groups. Um, that's where the wheels start turning as to you start looking deeper and deeper into the meaning of these songs. And also the song could also be touching on the idea of people that give up their lives to fame and to fortune and no longer have the luxury of being private individuals. I, the line, when your private life is dreaming, you're living in the strobe light, like that right there says to me, you've decided that you don't want to be a normal person anymore, that you want to be in the spotlight at all times. And with that comes the lack of privacy and or just the straight up absence of privacy. Um, so there is that element too, where it's tapping into what artists and people that in general who are trying to um, whore themselves out for attention uh, do in order to get that attention. They give up pieces of their lives, and in this case, this song is tackling privacy as that piece of someone's life that has been given up. But again, talking about um, these groups of people that have become divided and their rights have been relinquished and they've given up uh, certain rights like privacy is another thing that I feel like the song is talking about. So it's really interesting. This song has a lot of dynamics and a lot of um, different places that it goes to lyrically, which is something you don't really see in pop songs nowadays. A lot of times pop songs are just kind of on the surface, on the nose, and they're really just there to make a quick buck and uh, get an artist out there onto platforms like radio uh, and other syndicated platforms platforms that can bring in revenue. It's not about challenging people intellectually. It's about pushing a processed product. And that's something that I've always admired about the gorillas is th they never have phoned it in when it comes to any of their musical material. It's always been material that has tried to push their audience past boundaries and expand them uh, intellectually, musically, uh, without sacrificing, you know, catchy hooks and um, accessibility from a musical standpoint. Um, it, it's very inviting music. It's music that makes you want to dance and enjoy yourself. But if you choose to, you can look at it from a deeper perspective. But what do you guys think? Do you guys have any other things you would like to add to this discussion as to what this song may or may not be about? If so, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. As always, I've been Corey Kamori. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and I will see you guys next time.